Hey there and welcome to Matt's Garage. So some of you guys are asking on the Facebook group and stuff are PT cruisers good in the snow? So I just wanted to record this little clip for you guys because I actually had to drive out uh, back on my acreage here out to uh, the storage building here. And there's quite a bit of snow and I don't have snow tires on the car yet or anything so I just wanted to, uh, I drove all the way out here without any troubles. That was just me horsing around a little bit. That's the cool part about driving a turbo in the snow. You can just get on it and uh, get those cool turbo sounds. Now I'm stuck. Uh oh. Okay. Time to rock it a little. Okay, now as a Canadian, I think I have a responsibility to give you guys a few snow driving tips. Now my first snow driving tip is your tires. Your car is only as good as your tires. Your tires are what makes contact with the road. They're the only thing that does. So these are all season tires and they're not what I recommend. I recommend full on winter tires. So I did this kind of to demonstrate how the car could do even in like the worst case scenario if you get caught out in a storm with your summer tires on trust me with winter tires on this car will rip around this field like nobody's business I uh, I would it would be impossible to get stuck out here if this car had snow tires right now that's how much different snow tires make um, so don't cheap out uh, get yourself some good snow tires and uh, you won't regret it so driving in the snow is definitely a situation where more is less as far as throttle input. So like right now, if I just gun it, I'm going to be stuck for sure. But uh, if I just ease on it, the car will, well, it tries to go. So we are a little stuck right now because I stopped in some deep snow. And that's one tip I have for you. If you're going into deep snow and you know you're almost going to be stuck, don't hammer on your brakes when you stop. In fact, uh, what I sometimes do is I'll just uh, bump it into neutral and let the, uh, the snow stop the car. Um, if you are a little stuck like I am right now, then you've got to rock it. When you rock it, also don't try to go further than you can in one direction. What I mean is, I'm going to put it in reverse right now and just ease on it. Okay, so it comes out. But if it didn't come out, if it went back like three inches and then stopped again, I wouldn't keep spinning out. As soon as it started spinning out, I would put it in neutral, put it back to drive, and I would let the car go ahead for as far as it would go ahead. See, now we can cruise right through this. Now, 
that our tires are not spinning because what happens when you spin your tires is uh, only one will spin on most vehicles um, not both of them whereas you are getting power to both wheels until you brake traction and then it only sends power to one wheel so that's what I mean by easing on it you actually keep both wheels driving and power going to them as long as you're not spinning out so that's basically the gist of it I'm just going to legitimately try to get stuck here so that I can um, show you how to rock it I'll just go off hopefully I don't hit a tree oh that might do it okay I'll spin down okay so that's what you don't want to do you don't want to just spin down in one direction so now you go ahead and see right away when I go ahead it only moves about an inch or two and then it just starts spinning out and you're not making any more progress so stop when it does that don't just keep spinning down stop put it in reverse now you'll see we'll just make a little progress again okay stop and I'm holding my progress with the brakes because sometimes the vehicle just slide back that inch and I'll go and drive again and we'll get out of this no problem I'm not like see now it moves two inches instead of an inch so now we're back to reverse see now it moves three inches now we're back to drive and now we're out it's that easy whereas if I was to just sit there and spin in one direction I'd remain stuck there So you can see I'm not messing around here. This is this is pretty deep here for a two-wheel drive vehicle with just all season tires. Now another thing is it's great to horse around a little bit like that, but be careful, especially if you do own a PT or a neon, because the uh, differentials in the uh, in the transmission like the differential is part of the transmission but there's a pin in there basically there's a pin in there with two gears on it that spin and when you spin out what happens is those gears can lock up on that pin and launch it through the case of the transmission seen it with my own eyes so uh, basically that happens from excessive spinning out and it heats up the pin so uh, you know it's all right to gun it for a second, but uh, don't sit there and spin out for like five, ten minutes because you'll overheat that pin and it will throw through the side of your transmission and ruin it. So uh, just a little tip there for you too: if you're if you're getting rough with your PT, you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta you know know its limits. Uh, these are a tough car, but they have their limits. So. <laughs> Gotta love those blow off sounds. So I'm actually planning on uh, putting a snow blade on this car for the winter to clear my property here. Um, if you didn't know I used the Dodge Neon for quite a while. I used the Dodge Neon for years and years to plow the snow here and I still plan to but uh, my Dodge Neon I'm actually uh, customizing it right now. It's a big project on the channel if you haven't noticed. So. Uh, I'm temporarily going to be setting up the PT here with the snow blade and uh, we'll see how it does. I'm of course going to put some snow tires on it um, and it should do just fine because it's even heavier on the front than the, the neon was. So. so yeah, in my opinion the PTs are great in the snow. If you've got a good set of snow tires especially on them, they handle really good in the snow. You won't have any troubles at all. I do hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourself a great day. Now I've completely loaded my rims up with snow so when I get back out onto the highway I'm probably going to have a terrible vibration.